Hi, I just wanted to be real here for a sec and say what my mindset is today and how my mental health is today. It's not super great. And a rough start to my day. Yesterday was kind of rough. And today I'm just sitting here like I'm going down the path of comparing myself to other shop owners and other artists. And I know I'm always, I'm such a hypocrite. I'm always telling people not to do that. And I try my best not to do that. But it's just like, it's human nature sometimes. When you just look at like other people that are killing it. And they're getting like all these sales and they're growing their social media. And I'm like trying my absolute best and... I'm just kind of stagnant and like I'm so grateful for the growth that I have had this year and I don't want to sound ungrateful because like you have no clue how grateful I am. Like I just got a bunch of orders out last night and like the fact that I'm able to do that, that I have orders to fulfill is like I'm so grateful. But I guess I just, I don't know. I don't know what the point of this is other than to just say, like, just to document, you know, kind of where I'm at right now and um, to tell other people, you know, it's okay to, like, feel sorry for yourself every now and again. Like, just because, like, you can be grateful for what you have and still want more for yourself. Like... I can be grateful for the sales that I've had this year and the connections I've made this year and the market that I did that I turned a profit on for my first market. You know, it wasn't huge, but I turned a profit. I was happy, you know. Um, I can be all of those things. I can be grateful for all of those things, but I can also have a day where, you know, I'm, I'm not going to be like in a great headspace every single day I'm not gonna be like yeah like we got this girl boss every single day like some days this is the part of small business ownership and entrepreneurship that people don't show and that's why I want to show it people don't show the moments when you're by yourself because you're by yourself like 99% of the time the moments where you're by yourself and you're scrolling you're scrolling online you're looking at people who are in your field you know, in my case, um, I'm looking at other artists. I'm looking at other sticker shop owners specifically. Um, the, ho the whole reason I started doing this is because I love it. Because I love stickers and I always have. And I, you know, started getting into art and I wanted to make stickers. And I learned how to do it. And I've, I've grown so much. I've learned so much. And then I compare myself to other sticker shop owners where I see them and they're like killing it with the sales. Like they're, you know, they're doing this full time and they've been in business the same amount of time as me. So I'm like, what am I doing wrong? You know, where did I go wrong? What what am I not doing? Why do I still work a nine to five? Why, why am I constantly grinding and like trying so hard and feeling like I'm getting nowhere? And if you're feeling that way, too, as a small business owner, or if you're feeling that way as just a human being who exists in this society where you're comparing yourself to people and you're like, how come I'm not doing as good as they are or as well as they are? How come I'm not um, making as many sales as they are? I'm not making a full-time income. Nobody's buying my stuff. Nobody's even looking at my posts that I spend so much time on on social media. Nobody's opening my newsletters, you know, just, just be aware that like most people are going through something that they're not showing, like they're not showing this side of it online. You know, I come on here and I do, I do vlogs and I do posts and I'm like, oh my God, look at these orders I'm shipping out and I'm so excited and blah, blah, blah. And that's all true. But then five minutes later I can be in here and 
I'm looking at, you know, my sales numbers for the month and I'm like, oh, I'm disappointed in myself. Like I didn't, you know, I didn't sell as much as I wanted to. I didn't, you know, my social media is struggling. I'm struggling to grow it. I'm, you know, I struggle with my mental health and, and being consistent with posting and my bursts of energy. And like, it's just, it's hard. And it's like really hard to not compare yourself to other people. Um, you just have to be aware of it and you have to be aware that you're doing it and then say, okay, like, let's get this out of our system, but let's sit with it for a minute. You know, don't like, just try to put like, just, just sit with it and recognize that like, this is a normal feeling and it'll pass. And just remember why you do what you do and just remember that this is a marathon not a sprint and you're not trying to go viral and you're not trying to you know have some kind of like really short-term success where you go viral and get a you know a bunch of orders and then then it just falls off because you're not making genuine connections with your customers or your potential customers um it's hard so i just i just wanted to share that because i'm I'm having a tough time today. And just for the record, today is Tuesday, November 21st, 2023. And one thing that really excites me is thinking about where I'll be a year from now. On November 21st, 2024. You know. I just celebrated my shop turning two. And that's a big milestone for me. Um, as someone with undiagnosed ADHD, which I talked about in my last podcast episode, if you did not hear or see that, I will put a link in the description. Um, but, uh, I struggle to remain consistent with things and I have a lot of, you know, little things that I'll be interested in and hyper fixations and stuff like that. But the way that I know that this is like what I'm supposed to be doing is that I don't get tired of it. It makes me feel good. Like, it ma I feel like I'm doing what I'm called to do. And I know artists say that kind of stuff and people roll their eyes, but I don't care. I feel like I am making the stuff that I need to be making. And I feel good about it. And I understand that it takes time to find the right people to see your stuff that will also like it but i like my stuff i like the stuff i create and that's very important to me that's really all that matters because if i don't like it i can't expect to sell it to somebody else like every single thing that i put out to my detriment i have to be 100 percent happy with because i i need to like it in order for it to be put out into the world. I can't just throw something out there. I mean, I could, but I, I'm i just not that kind of person. It's the reason I've been dicking around for months trying to figure out the, like, apparel situation because I don't have the equipment I need to make the type of apparel that I want to make. I can do heat transfer vinyl, but I've made shirts for my friends and for myself, and I'm not super happy with the quality Um you know, as far as like vinyl and just the way that it feels on a shirt. It's fine for like a tote bag and, and like a hat and things like that. But for a shirt, I just, it just doesn't last as long. And you know, you, you're throwing it in the washer all the time in the dryer. And it's just like, I want my stuff to be good quality. And I did order a sample from a manufacturer and I'm really happy with it, but I'm just sitting here I'm hesitant to pull the trigger and actually launch this stuff because I am a handmade business and that would not be handmade and it feels inauthentic for me to sell something that I'm not making myself. And I know that holds me back, like financially, I know it does. Like I know I could make more money if I didn't try to do everything myself, but it's not just about making money. Like I have to, like I have my own integrity when it comes to my business and what feels right. And 
I'm toying around with a different business and a different shop where I will be doing, um, you know, stuff that's not handmade, but I'm still designing all of it, but I'm not handmaking it. And I'm not saying that I won't do the drop shipping thing for my apparel. Drop shipping has such a negative connotation, but I, th I feel like people don't understand what it is. It's not, I mean, yes, it's drop shipping, but it's print on demand and people just don't understand what that means. And I think just as long as I'm transparent and say, listen, I just don't have the equipment that I need to get the quality that I want. And they offer products that like I can't make, you know, and if people want something on a shirt or a hoodie and I can't make it, then I can work with somebody else to get it made. And I've done all this research to make sure everything is made ethically and it's made, you know, sustainably, you know, as much as I can. And it's like, I don't know, it's just really hard. And then, like, I work on things. I have these little hyper fixations of, like, I saw something on TikTok about scripting. And I loved it. And I thought it was awesome. And I, I still want to try it. But I was like, oh, let me make a printable that I can sell, you know, on Etsy that is about... Uh, scripting and what it is and it's just like a template for you to do scripting and like I started it and I have it right here and it's just sitting here and I'm like could I be sitting on something that is like that could change my life like could this be the thing could this thing right here be the thing that I'm sitting on that I need to just fucking do and just stop dicking around and just put it out It's so frustrating. It's like I get paralyzed because I'm like, I I want to make sure I'm doing it perfectly. And that I'm, you know, offering something that is worth people's money. And this is just a printable. It's not anything I even have to ship. It's just something you print yourself. And I don't know. It's just really, I don't know why I'm like this. It's so frustrating. And I have so many things like this where I just sit here and it's, it's sitting here unfinished. And I know that I want to do it. Like, but I just feel so paralyzed. I'm like, I, I, I'm scared to do it. And I'm afraid that it, you know, it's not going to do well. And it, it's, but it's like, who cares? Like, what's the risk? Throw it up on Etsy and market it. And see what happens. And if it doesn't sell, it doesn't sell. Like, you're not out any money. Like, I'm yelling at myself here. It's just so frustrating. And I bought a course that I'm actually really enjoying on... Um, it's by Rach and Nick. And it's about um, selling your handmade products through your Instagram stories. And I did follow their blueprint for my most recent launch. I didn't have quite as much time to do every single step because... My cat got sick and that's a whole other thing. But I did do a lot of it. And I will say, like, I had a much more successful launch than I've had in a long time. And um, I really enjoyed the process and I'm learning. And I'm, you know, I got my notebook here. And I am I got it printed out like an old person. I can't just look at it online. I need to print it. And I'm, I'm trying. You know, I'm really trying. This is hard. You know, that, that that's really all I, I want to say is that, like, people probably think that sticker shop owners just, you know, because we just show, like, all the happy stuff. And, like, you know, artists who do art full time, like, people just look at it online and they're like, oh, they're, they just make art all day. And, you know, it looks so fun. And, like, it is fun. And it's what I want. But it's hard. And there's hard parts of it. Um, and you know, now I'm, I'm moving on to my next part of this course. And I'm working on Black Friday stuff. Which by the time I get this video out, Black Friday will probably be already over. I don't know. I'm going to try to get it out. But who knows. <sighs> I'm determined to make this work no matter how long it takes but I just have to document the journey 
you know, to getting there. Because it's hard. It is really, it's not for the faint of heart. Entrepreneurship and, you know, trying to be self-employed. It's not for the faint of heart. Working full-time, nine to five, and then working all night into the night, sometimes in the, you know, one and two in the morning. Um, it's not healthy. I'm aware of that. And I'm trying really hard <laughs> to make sure that I'm taking care of myself and that I am taking breaks and I'm really reassessing a lot for 2024 and how I do things and making things easier on myself while still working very hard and putting out the things I want to put out. Um, but I just appreciate you guys being here um, and, you know, joining me for, for this because um, it's not all sunshine and rainbows and it can be hard, but it's the most rewarding thing ever. And um, I know that I'm going to get there. And I don't know how long it's going to take, but I know I'm going to get there because I am a person who does not give up. And I, when I want something, I'm determined. And nobody's going to tell me that I can't do this. Nobody's going to say, oh, Cassie, like, you, you're still going to have to work a corporate job. You need a steady income. Like, you're not, you know, really? Like, why'd you go to college and get a master's degree if you just want to make stickers? People can say whatever they want, think whatever they want, but I know what I want and I know the kind of life that I can build for myself and my family and I'm not going to let anybody tell me that that's not possible or that it's silly. So, anyway, I guess that's pretty much it for today. Um, thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't. It really helps. I'm really trying to get to 400 I've been kind of stuck in the 380s for quite a while, but that's my own fault for not uploading consistently, so. But just thank you for being here. And I hope you're having a good day. And if you're not, I hope it gets better. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.